Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stocks signals video for Tuesday the 5th of June. Uh, so very briefly, our members get signals every single day for both long and short on the 5th wave of an Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, on the weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frame and we also give stochastic long trade signals and stochastic short signals. I've chosen long signals today, so in the members area our members simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet. So let's have a look at the spreadsheet for today on the longs. So I've gone for the 60 minute time frame today. Down here at the bottom on the tabs you can see the weekly and the daily. On the 60 minute these are the potential fifth wave long trades uh, today. I've chosen one of these as an example to go through and set up on the chart to show you how this works. So let's have a look at the chart. So I've chosen LNG on the 60 minute time frame here. This is the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave 5 Trade uh, for the Ninja Trader NT8 platform. It's also available for Thinkorswim, TradeStation and Multicharts. For those that have our indicator suite to isolate the Elliott Wave count, very simple, but a long range bound period here through through May. And then towards the end of the May, we hit the low and then this is the trend we're interested in. So if we isolate the bottom of the wave count down here, around about the May the 25th, and then our Elliott Wave indicator suite automatically labels the Elliott Waves. And it's this fourth wave they're interested in now finding support and looking to go long. So let's just zoom in on and look on that. Okay, so what we have first of all on the stocks signal service, we have some basic filters on the data there. So the first filter is our wave four pullback. The wave force pullback and found support right at the bottom of this green zone here. The green zone is an 85% probability. It's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones in blue here, up around 68.87. So now we another filter. We've got the 535 oscillator down here. Uh, we have. Uh, a pullback between 90 and 140 percent. You can see the oscillator here has just pulled back below 90 percent now. So this pullback may not be over quite yet, but if that support is held and it starts to move away, uh, then that's hit the hit the box. Uh, the other indicator we have the stochastic down at the bottom. Now the stochastic's crossed over in the oversold zone here against our false breakout dots on the top here. The false breakout dots denote a very strong bullish momentum. And when the stochastic pulls back against that and crosses over in the oversold zone, the likelihood is it wants to return to that strong bullish momentum. So we've got that basic filters. Now, now we just need to look at the setup on uh, to trade this fifth wave. So stop loss, quite simple, just below the low of the wave four low there. So around about 65.44 for the stop loss for this entry. So the entry now is above the 6.4 moving average high, which is this green moving average line. This is part of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, but also above this recent high on this pivot here. This was an attempt that failed and then sold off quite dramatically. So we want to make sure we're above this decision point before we go long. So 66.74 is the entry and then our targets around about $69 to the top end of this target zone here. So we have a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 on this potential long fifth wave on LNG for the 60 minute chart. So very, very simple to set up from our stock signals membership uh, and some great potential trades there on the 60 minute the daily and the weekly time frames on both long and short. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.